Lasers, what's up guys? <laughs> I can't get over that super bad movie, McLovin. <laughs> anyway, you guys are in for a treat. I am not going to talk, I'm just going to boogie down. I will explain stuff like another video tonight. Um, some drama happened and my schedule got pushed back like three hours. I had to reset my brain. I was like, I was trying to cry. I'm like, I just wanted to punch a hole in the wall again. I have a few holes in my walls and my, I put my son's pictures on top of them. I'll get some spackle later. Anyway, um, you're in for a treat. I haven't done a BTS Danger in forever. And last time I did, I wore this shirt. The progress is amazing. I watched the video. I was like this. Okay. All right. All right. Here we go. Pause. Since my back healed, I also developed a move. My past videos, like you know, I do a lot of this.
for a treat next song. Uh oh, wait, um, stop. You guys are breath. Pepsi! Call me. Okay. If you're not a true army, BTS can. The song might drop is actually mostly in English. Yeah, I'm gonna translate it tonight. I'm gonna rap tonight. I'm gonna work on my voice. Like I lost my high layer next to the pneumonia, I said it before, but I still have the low one. We are family! <clears throat> okay, I'm working on it. That's a spoiler. I'm gonna rap Mic Drop. That's my favorite song, I'm sorry. Steve. Oh, quiet. Did I say it right? I want to meet him so bad, he's the baddest DJ in the Oh, he's pretty black hair. And he's Japanese, I think. And I'm hearing impaired, so... My DJ friends tell me that there's another DJ that's totally deaf. And I'm like, please, I want to meet him so bad. He relies on sound waves on a monitor and... Wooden boards on his feet so he can feel the rhythm. And I'm hearing impaired, too. I just realized recently, last year... But I don't want to hear an aid because it would change the way I hear music. I mean, I, I say something next to me, I'm like, what? But when it comes to music, it's... And I've been hearing bells lately when I listen to music. I don't know what that means. And every time I hear a rhythm, like a car door open, anything, I'm like... What the heck is that? Please answer me. I know one of my DJs, Jesse Booker, said, That means you're coming one with the universe. I'm like... Like, use the force? I, I don't know. It was a beautiful thing. I wasn't even serious to tell me a joke. I don't know, but... There's other hearing impaired people out there. Please comment on the video. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I don't want to... I don't want to change my hearing. I love how I hear music. And when I drive, I put a Bluetooth speaker on my lap. On my accelerator, like, of course. So I can feel the vibration. All right, Foz, I'm going to rap now. And I worked out today for the first day in three years. At the gym, I'm, uh, I want to get bigger. I got to gain at least 15 pounds of muscle mass before May 26th. My, uh, I guess, actual show was Samuel. Raymond Stevenson, my number one DJ, my boss man, my daddy, my brother. He looks like Chandler from Friends. How can I say no to that face? All right, Daddy, I'm going to make you proud. Okay, I'm going to bring it. Just hand me the mic. I want an air mic so I can eh, eventually, like BTS says, I want to know what it feels like to sing, dance, and breathe at the same time. I'm like, how do they do it? I dance my butt off and I lip sync. And I sing every now and then. I shout out. I feel confident enough. Hey, I can hit this note. Yeah. I want to know what BTS feels like. How do they pull it off? So I, I started their videos, and I'm like, I, I can tell when they take a breath. Yeah, after a while, I was like, when I was wondering about it, I actually paid attention to it. Paid attention to it. <sighs> I talk too fast. So I'm going <laughs> to attempt to rap tonight. Translate mic drop to you guys. All my fans, most of my, 90% of my fans are overseas. Max Diamond in Africa. Elizabeth Hartnett in Africa. My admins and creators of Team Blaze. It was their idea. I was like, oh, we should make a fan page called Team Blaze. I was like, <gasps> and it edited all these anime photos of us. And uh, <laughs> Sarah Ackerman shipped me and Max Diamond together. Our anime characters. <laughs> Other ways to keep saying it's Sarah's fault. She said that she made that picture. It was like, everyone's like, oh my god, you guys are so loving, cute. And then Max goes, thank you, Sarah. And I'm like, this. <laughs> He's like half my age. He thinks I'm like a goddess. I'm like, 
I look like a Walking Dead extra when I wake up. Not a Gap model. Anyway, mic drop. I'm rapping. Ha! Pause, bitches. <coughs> Freaking. <coughs> it went down the wrong pipe. <coughs> okay, Steve McCoy, Obi Wan Kenobi, whatever. See, mic drop. BTS featuring designer. Oh wait, no. I got it the remake. I gotta get to the dollar on the head and back. Come on. Come on. Come on. This what I did to the head of the chopper. Hit him, tell him back. Come on. She like apple jack. I like apple sauce. Dance him off. Dance him off. Why you trying to play in your fashion off? Chain around my neck and I... I'm so excited. <laughs> and I download their videos too. I, I, I watch Y Dance. And I'm watching my Bias V. Especially in this video. He has perfect hair. I'm like, that's not fair. And everybody's like, he's half your age. I'm like, so what? 
<laughs> they dyed their hair more than I did. <sighs> oh, I said I wouldn't talk much today. So excited. I'm leaving. I'm leaving sales. I, I, I went to a new career path and landed a job today in West Palm Beach as a marketer, an advertiser, an event planner, manager in training. I didn't even tell the hiring manager that I was in marketing. We talked for like a couple of minutes, built a good rapport. He's like, I like you. I got just the position for you. I'm like, please tell me it's not sales. He's like, nope. I'm like, what? He's like, marketing. I'm like, Man, I was, I was dumbfounded again. I, I didn't know whether to pass out, fall over, fart, hug him. I, <laughs> I was like this. He's like, you okay? I'm like, this is my dream. <laughs> and then I talk about the YouTube thing. My first passion is singing and dancing since I was, since I could walk and talk. <laughs> Stop. And <laughs> he's like, you're amazing. And I, I left. He said, like, Kate will call you tomorrow. We have locations near you. I was like, I don't have to drive 80 miles a day then. It's 40 miles I went to today. <laughs> and I made friends with the security guard and everything. Because I knocked over coming with my car because I was in a parking garage and I haven't been in one in a long time. <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm like, help. <laughs> He's so sweet. They love me. I'm like, I'll see you guys soon. And then I called my old supervisor, <laughs> Angela. I said, I can't tell you how much I love you right now. She's like, huh? I said, I cannot tell you how much I love you right now. She's like, oh. I told her I landed in the job marketing. She's like, and she knows nothing about marketing. But she's a natural. Because I told her, I said, I was nervous as hell. And I was sweating and almost in tears. But I went in there and I mirrored you. I acted just like you. Red lipstick, ha ha. And then he loves me. She goes, I need, I need. <laughs> Out of all this disaster comes a blessing. No matter how hard life hits me, I just keep coming up like. I wake up and I make Satan feel proud, okay? I'm sorry, I don't mean, I believe in God, really, but I'm just saying it's just a figure of speech. <laughs> Be that kind of person that when your feet touch the ground, Lucifer goes, oh crap, they're up. Make Hitler blush. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm part German. <sighs> okay. I'm going see It's hello in Korean. His next song. Okay, that's what I was, my point was. I was leaving and they shut my hand. Guy was so smiling. He wanted a hug. I just, I felt it through his hand. I was like, and I pulled him in. And I did this. I did a bro hug. I was like, we're family. He's like, yes, yes, sister. And then I was like, okay, thank you, bye. And I walked away. And I heard someone whisper. I heard some Harry and Perry, but I heard the female in the background go, she's awesome. And I turned around. And I said, we are family. Hey! Yes! And they're like, you can sing too? I was like, does that sound good? Because I'm partially deaf. <laughs> and I'm harnessing my deep voice. I'm working with what I have, building it. And they're like this event planner. I was like, this. I love, it's my dream to be a pop star, but. <laughs> But a marketing guru? <laughs> I've been doing it forever. And it, I, haven't, I didn't pay a dime. I do it on social media. I promote, I promote my fellow YouTubers, gamers, dancers, DJs, you name it. Send me your link. I will promote the crap out of you on my freaking fan page on Team Blaze on Facebook. Get ready for a 1978, babies. We're, doing a, we're going back in time. <laughs> Oh, by the way, I forgot because I don't have my notebook. <laughs> mm -mm. This video is a tribute to BTS. Okay? We're coming to see you in September in New Jersey. 
<laughs> so, uh, yeah, this is, uh, showing BTS a lot of love. So all my fans overseas, Africa, UK, India, Japan, Korea, Philippines, now I have Vietnamese friends. I'm half Vietnamese. And uh, this Vietnamese girl posted a video of BTS speaking in Vietnamese. I was like this. I was in tears. I was like, just speaking my mom's language. <laughs> so now I'm learning Korean, Japanese, and Vietnamese from my fans. I'm like, what does that mean? They tell me. Okay, here we go. Blast from the past. Here you go, BTS. This is my tribute to you. Let me show you a piece of old Motown disco America, okay? Oh, I can say I love you in Korean. Adios, y'all, BTS. So dang it. If I pronounce that messed up, whatever. I'm, I'm notorious for murdering stuff. Names, I mean. It is a long intro, but hey. BTS sugar. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I have an eye appointment in the morning. <laughs> good night, guys. Good night, Blazers. Good night, Maxi Daimini. Boo 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 boo. And my kawaii, Elizabeth Hartnett. My little troublemaker that likes to blow stuff up, Sarah Ackerman. It's always her fault. <laughs> yeah, that's 
That's the video I made for her. She cried. She's like, I love you, Miss Blaze. I'm like, and they'll call me Mama. Uh, good morning, Oma Blaze. Oma means mommy in Korean. I'm just like, and Kevin goes, you're so kawaii. I'm like, what's kawaii? It's like Hawaii, but with a K. She was cute. I'm like, <laughs> she showed me a dance clip of her on Musical.ly. I was like, have you been studying me? She was, I've watched every video. <sighs> She's 13 in Japan. Sarah Ackerman shipped me and Max. I said that earlier, didn't I? Such a cute picture. Like, where's the cute couple? Matt says, thank you. And then my friend Lisa goes, I'm telling Suga. <sighs> okay. If you want to know what the acron acronym of ARMY means, it means Adorable Representative MC for Youth Fans. And BTS does not mean behind the scenes or beyond the scenes. It means Bang Tan Boys. Uh, translated in Korean is Bulletproof Boy Scouts. They debuted, was it June 12, 2013? Yeah, I'm an army girl. Hey V, call me. I love V's deep voice. Because I lost my high voice. I was depressed as hell. But I stopped listening to music. My son goes, Mommy, you gotta see this. He showed me EXO, Coco Bop, Makai had braids. And abs, and I was like, yeah, he had my attention. Then I fell in love with the music, and then I started dancing. And I made a dance video, and I sent it to my DJ, Sam. <laughs> it was just, hey, screw it. And I, I, I was supposed to apprentice with him, DJing. And then I got a job with Kia. And then I made a dance video, just goofy. He's like, man, that was awesome. If you go backtrack to that, it's, it's kind of cringy. And that was chunky. Anyway. <laughs> I forgot I was going to say screw it. I'll, I'll think of it later. Um, good night, lasers. <laughs> keep dancing, keep dreaming. And I'm still waiting for a certain someone to unblock me. So I can say sorry. Apparently I really hurt him. Apparently he got a lot of backlash for that PR disaster. I'm not gonna say his name, but I nicknamed him. I nicknamed him Jay Hala. I said that's your K-pop name. He calls me his Asian Angelina Jolie. He's my little brother. He's beautiful, six foot something, blonde hair, blue eyes. Man, I'm like, dude, you're the cutest cracker on earth. <laughs> Second to my DJ Samuel Raymond Stevenson, who looks just like Chandler from Friends. I'm surrounded by beautiful people. I'm like, just thank you, and they're not even Asian. Now I'm done with relationships. If they don't look like a cake pop cutie pie, I don't want them. <clears throat> nope, going Asian. Prepare for the Asian invasion. I've been wanting to say that. Because I'm half Vietnamese, so I can do that. <clears throat> okay, good night. Wait. I wrote down good night. Good night. I'm gonna try it. I can actually read it and pronounce it. I, I, I try it. Good night in Korean is any young he Jimmy is you. Any young he Jimmy is you. Like V does because oh. Any young he. He can make hello sound sexy. Any young he. I've been studying V a lot. Cause they they paired us together. They shipped us like a long time ago. Um, so I started studying him because my high voice is gone and I was depressed. Then I fell in love with V because he's goofy and, and just like me and just out of it. And my friends call me Alien too. So V, it's okay if they call you Alien. It's a, it's a gift, not a curse. Um, and I want to sing your song Stigma. I've been working on it. That song makes me cry every time I hear it. I'm like this. <gasps> and it makes me want to be better. You guys make me want to be better. <laughs> Thank you so much. I want to. 
You guys are like, oh, God, you're half my age. So I, I would be your Oma. Oh, V always likes to touch cute things and go, I have the same habit. I'm like, just, oh. And he's posing, he goes, Oma. So I'm I'm starting to do that too. It's so it's goofy. My bias missed me so much. <laughs> We're coming to meet you guys this September in New Jersey. All right. Um, going to get floor tickets. So we need three plane tickets, three concert tickets. Me, Lisa Arberg, my son, Tristan Freeman, a.k.a. Baby Cookie. He looks just like John Cook. Oh, my God, he's 12. And he can sing like John Cook. He did a video with me, but I'm trying to get him to do more. And he, he's not ready. He's not ready. So I'm not going to force him. I'm, when you're ready, baby, do it. I heard him sing Sweet Day. Is it Sweet Day? Spring Day by BTS. In his room. And I was like. He and I was listening. I cried. I was. Yeah, that's Baby Cookie. And he made me some pictures of Junk Cook. That song, the new album, I downloaded already, uh, the Love Yourself album, uh, uh, be Begin by Jean Cook. And it says, it says, cry with me and smile with me, you made me begin, I died. My son made that for me, he just texted me that, I was like, and I posted it, and everybody was like, oh, baby cookie, oh my god, he's amazing, I was like, So I have this new, I have this job now. Sales is cutthroat. It's unstable. Now I have a marketing job, where I'm boss lady, <laughs> management and training. Yes, marketing, advertising, promoting. <sighs> oh, my second passion. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you so much. Out of all this pain, something beautiful came out of it. That's why I do. I, I channel my, I channel all this energy. If I don't burn it properly, it turns into anger, and I lose it. I turn into a werewolf. I'm like, ah, I have fangs. Like, anyway. So I do it. Oh, I forgot what I was say. Anyway, God, uh, just dream big and don't give up. If you have a craft, if you have an art, go for it. I've been doing it all my life. I used to draw, write music, everything. I was joining the Air Force, and I backed out, and my recruiter was like, what the hell's wrong with you? Are you pregnant? I'm like, no. I scored 97% on the ASVAB. And my dad has severe PTSD from the Air Force. He was a massive sergeant, and I wanted to be a medic and a pilot. My favorite jet is the stealth. <laughs> <laughs> a couple weeks before I was supposed to go to basic training, and he's like, daughter, please, don't go. <laughs> and I seen his PTSD. He doesn't talk about what happened in Vietnam during the war. <laughs> That's okay, Daddy, I won't go. My recruiter was pissed. <laughs> She's like, please reconsider. I'm like, no, I made my, I made up my mind. Could have been a pilot. <laughs> like when I drive, I don't, I don't swerve into another lane. I bank. I'm like, oof. But my car looks like a little spaceship. This so cute little Tiburon with my blaze letters on it. Now it's so pretty. I love it so much. My fans make me do this stuff. Maybe me want to be better. Why I feel like crashing and burning? Do like Miss Blaze? Come on, come on, Mommy Blaze. You got this. I'm like, like I said in my last video. I said I don't want to get this, and I'm angry and going. <laughs> and they're like, come on, leader. We're depending on you. Make us look bad. And I'm like, my two admins in Africa. <laughs> my babies, my children. Actually, like I said, they. They shipped me and Max Diamond as boyfriend and girlfriend. <laughs> and when Max saw it, me and Max saw it, we were both like, funny face emoji times 50. We're both, we're both like this. And like I said, Max goes, Max, Max goes, thank you, Sarah, with heart emojis. And he loves me, thinks I'm beautiful. I'm like, you're, you're crazy. You have ocular trauma.
Red Boo Boo Bear. Alright, good night. I got an eye exam tomorrow. I'm getting blue contacts. I'm getting, well, I have to wear the clear ones for a week first. I don't know how to, I never had prescription contacts before, but I wear bifocals. And these sometimes hurt my nose and give me headaches. I'm like, I just want to, I am blurry. I, see, I just want to, so I'm ordering blue contacts. I want my daddy's eyes. He looks like, when I was a young girl and when Superman came out in 1978, I was three. Christopher Reeves, he looks just like my daddy. <laughs> Black hair, fair skin, and blue eyes. And I was like three or four, and I was watching Superman, and I'm like, Daddy! And my mom goes, <laughs> <laughs> My dad's like, Hey! I'm like, He's on TV! My mom, just, my mom would not stop laughing. She's saying something in Vietnamese, and my dad's going, so I have, a, I have a rare picture of Christopher Reeves on the set in between takes of 1978 and I paid $400 for it about 10 years ago. It's on my wall. I'll post pictures on my uh, Team Blaze page later. Alright, good night guys. I love you guys. Stay strong. And Jay Hala, for the love of the beat, okay? Always and forever. Till death do us part. Farthead. I love you, man. Come back to me, please.